My fellow turkey hunters, if you are just breasting out your turkeys and leaving the rest of it in the field, stop, stop now. That's right. This is a PSA. Before we get into turkey season for the immense wonder and tastiness that is the drumstick and thigh of a wild turkey. Now, I wouldn't just tell you to not throw these away. I'm going to show you exactly what to do with them. This recipe is by a guy named Hank Shaw. He has his own YouTube, his own blog, his own cookbooks. This man is a master at wild game cooking. I'll link all of his info in the bottom. This is his recipe, period. But I love it so much, I wanted to make sure I shared it with you to try and keep people from not taking legs out of the woods with them. If you would do me a favor and go ahead and squeeze the trigger on the like button and subscribe if you would like. We're doing a giveaway right now too and I'll give you that info at the end of the video. So right now, let's head to the kitchen. We're gonna be making wild turkey carnitas and it takes a minute, so be prepared. Grab the crock pot and put your two turkey legs in. Slice one orange, slice one small onion, smash three garlic cloves, and then dump it all in. Add two teaspoons of dried thyme, then figure out you're using the wrong hands for the camera and then switch that up. Next is two teaspoons of oregano, three bay leaves with or without the dramatic drop, one small cinnamon stick, a quarter cup of brown sugar, one quart of turkey or chicken stock, and if it's not all the way covered in liquid, go ahead and add just enough water to make sure it's covered. Salt it to taste, and then put the lid on and set the crock pot to high. After that, all you got to do now is wait for your friends to arrive. Now the cook time varies, but it's generally somewhere between four to six hours. <laughs> Most of the time I check it around the four hour mark and then you can kind of gauge the rest of the time you need from there. I think I can step in pee. Once your legs are cooked through and tender, pull them out of the crock pot and let them rest for a minute. I like to save the broth mixture and I also like to save the onions to use when we build on our tortillas. Next, we pull the meat off the bones and be careful because it's hot. I'm not burn my hands doing this. It's easier. It's hot. It's one of the reasons that wild turkey is so different than domestic turkey. See all these little bones mm -hmm. through here? A domestic turkey, you just take a bite out of it. With this, you got to deal with it. It's a big reason that people don't want to take these out of the woods with them and just leave them. They're like, oh, I don't want to fool with it. God, it's just so good. It's just a little extra work. It is really hot. <laughs> Get in here. Get where? I don't want to be the only one who burns my hand today. You're the one cooking it, though. You're cooking it, must burn it. Is that like eat and smelt it, dealt it? <laughs> Once it's off the bone, go ahead and shred the meat. We're going to take this meal one step further by making homemade tortillas. Obviously, you don't have to do this. And this recipe isn't a part of Hank Shaw's recipe. This one is a family secret passed down from our friend Jackie Stevens. Start with three cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, Half a cup of Crisco, or lard, or any kind of oil that you prefer, and half a cup of water. You may need to add more to get a smooth, doughy consistency. Work the ingredients into a dough, and then separate it out into small balls.
Once you do that, press them flat and roll them out to your desired thickness. It's traditional to use a hot cast iron to cook these and you just want to cook them until they're brown and hold their shape. Everything is almost ready. So all your cast iron or your skillet and crisp up the shredded meat. Once you do that, build tacos however you like and then watch your friends devour them. Over the years, I've grown from getting the most enjoyment out of acquiring the meat to getting the most enjoyment out of sharing the meat. Sharing the spoils of hunting is the first step for a lot of people into the outdoors. A well-cooked wild meal could be just what someone needs to lead them into becoming an outdoors person. Again, this recipe was created by Hank Shaw, so all credit to him. It's amazing. Again, all his stuff is linked down below. Now, we're giving away the pack that we used in Colorado elk hunting this year, and also when we hunted blacktails in Oregon. June 1st is the deadline for that, so go ahead, hit the subscribe button, and comment on any video the word pack. Could be used in a sentence, you could just use the word pack. It's simple, it's to the point, and it gets you entered. We really, really appreciate all the support. Again, hit the subscribe button, pull the trigger on the like button, and please be safe out there during turkey season and go get you a gobbler.